Previously, you would have seen me install a Dometic PLB40 lithium battery system into the Jeep. All that has to do is keep the fridge cold uh, and it's part of my lightweight storage system in the Jeep. I'll link to the videos up above. Now, I've found some limitations of this when I'm trying to push it. Uh, they're limitations that could actually affect a lot of these all-in-one lithium battery boxes. So today we're going to have a look at what the limitations are um, and possibly why one of these all-in box systems may not be for you. So stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, my name's Daryl, welcome to the channel. This week I thought we'd have a chat about these all-in-one lithium battery systems. I wanted to have a chat about these because there are some downsides of these and I've sort of come up against it at this point. Because I've had it and it was my first foray into um, lithium power with camping, I thought it would be a really good idea. And it has been. It's been great for its intended use. And its intended use is a weekend away um, giving you lithium power to drive your fridge or whatever you're after. Uh, because this will, this 40 amp lithium battery will drive my older Waco 40 litre fridge for approximately 48 hours. And to charge this, because I wanted the fridge to run 24 seven, uh, I've got switchable power. And we did that in a previous video that I'll link to up here. Now, it was a bit of an experiment, as I said at the time. Um, it's actually worked really well. This is my daily driver. If I drive it to work every day, it's about a 60 to 70 kilometer return trip, depending on the way I go. Uh, it works awesomely. The problem comes if I decide I don't drive it over a weekend and on the Monday the battery's depleted or uh, I like to cycle a couple of days a week and if I do that two days in a row and go to the vehicle on the next day, the battery's depleted. It charges up quite quickly but it is depleted and you've got to go through the process of driving for a bit, turning the fridge on, um, blah, blah, blah. It just doesn't look after itself. Was it a good experiment? Yes, within the parameters that this will, will provide. Uh, but if you want more, because we always want more, well, can we get a solar panel for this vehicle? And being a soft top with no roof rack gets a bit difficult. However, I do have an outcome for that, and we'll discuss that in a later episode. But I've got it here today, and I just thought I'd look at um, what it was outputting, and can I, can I work with both the solar feed and a 12 volt feed with this all-in-one unit? And I can't. The problem with this all-in-one unit is that it's 12 volt in, and it's solar in, is the same Anderson plug. As I said, the only outcome you can do is either have some clever switching, um, which I just don't want, um, or have two Anderson plugs and you swap them out when you want to use either or. Um, but you can't, like a Red Arc system, just connect them all up and it'll seamlessly just work uh, and choose which, which feed it wants. I see that as a major flaw with these all-in-one units. Um, however, again, when I bought this, the separate BCDC charges and the separate batteries were huge amounts of money. Um, like the batteries were probably triple. So they've come down in price a lot, but these things are still very desirable if you just want a simple unit. Um, I notice a lot of these now um, have internal inverters and everything like that, so they work really well. Um, but do check on the specs and the casing whether you can have a 12 volt feed and a solar feed if you want to start pushing those a little bit more. Um, the other problem though, I thought about but didn't really think about um, because I don't have a lot of choices of solar panels for this vehicle. It came down to, well, if I want one, there's one choice and one choice alone. The specs of it, I really didn't have a lot of, uh, of choice over. It's an 85 watt unit, um, but the output of this, the solar panel is rated up to 28 volts. Uh, I've tested it this morning and it's, this all-in-one unit will only accept 25. So I can't use the solar panel on this. And I have tried to connect it because why wouldn't you? Um, and it just sets off an alarm straight away. So the solar panel that I've got, I can't use on this and I can't have 
both a 12 volt feed in and a solar panel in. It's either or. Um, the cynic in me also thinks that Dometic set this up so you will go and buy their, uh, their solar panel that will work with this. Um, but how do I mount this on that on this vehicle? You can't. So you've got to drill down into the specs of the solar panels um, to get something to work with this. So what are my options? What can I do? What I, I can just live with this. This works really well. All I can do is remember to plug the damn thing in to the AC power when I decide not to, not to use the Jeep. And the bizarre thing is I will walk past the camper that lives in the garage and nine times out of ten I walk past the red vision screen on it, hit the button on the red vision screen, see what battery capacity I've got and I'll plug it in to charge them up if I need to. This, because it's out of sight, out of mind, I never think of it. And at, at the time I put it in, I thought I was very clever, and it's like, I'll just plug it in when I don't use the Jeep. I never, never, ever do, which is, yeah, it's probably more me than anything else. But anyway, um, the other thing I can do with this is that I have a Red Arc 1225D. Um, that, that'll connect up to 12 volt feed, it'll connect up to the solar feed, it'll decide itself which one it's going to use, um, and that will do everything that I need to do. However, the problem with this is, is that I'll probably ne I need to get another battery to run this. I can't run this into the 12 volt feed of this all in one unit, um, because this wants to see a battery, not a, another. BC DC unit on the other end. It wants some feedback from the battery, um, and I may have tried that already. <laughs> it, it'll run it for a little while, but um, it, it'll then just peter off and won't charge. So that's not an option. So the option is I buy another battery and I run this. Uh, the further option is I can connect this up to the vehicle, the battery in the Jeep. Um, the solar panel will keep that charged and I can instead of having this on a switchable 12 volt I can just have that on a 12 volt all the time. Um, I don't like that option. Um, I can set this up so that if the main battery falls under a certain voltage um, it'll still leave enough so I can start the vehicle. It's a fail safe. I prefer to have separate, completely separate systems in this because this is a fairly simple system um, just, just running the fridge uh, and not complex, I, I don't see any need to get the vehicle battery uh, involved in it at all. I, I just don't see the need. So I prefer not to do that. So I, I think my options are I live with this or I buy another battery. And you can see that I've gone through the all-in-one small capacity BCDC system to high-end uh, BCDC system. The way to go, in my mind, is to buy something that will grow with you. Because with these things, you tend to, uh, it tends to get in your blood and it tends to grow. Uh, so the Red Vision system, that can grow more. Um, you know, I can add another one of these to get better charging through it. Uh, the Red Vision system tops out at 30 amps. You can piggyback a BCDC, and you can get a BCDC 50, I think, now. So you could have 80 amps um, being able to be recharged into the camper batteries at that point. So these are really good with the fact that they can grow with you. The all-in-one units, what you buy is what you get. As I said before, you can get these the Bluetti ones and the like, you know, they're a lot bigger and a lot more complex than these things. But the same problems arise. You just want to check your specs, uh, check what solar panels you can put on them with regards to voltage in. Um, and when you're buying solar panels, make sure that they will work with the unit that you have. Uh, whereas if you've got a separate system, you would probably find that any solar panel you buy will work for it with it. Um, so something to think about there. So that's about it for today guys, hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.